it'll it'll go better for us long term if she's got her guy guys out with us and if she's not waiting at the door for uh, our company. She's um, great. So let's uh, so we are gonna do low back stretching, hamstring stretching, anything else that's coming up for anybody? All right. Well, if if you decide there's more you need to do, by all means, um, just let me know. Send me a note can send me a secret little message here. Okay, and then I'll get us started. So let's lie back on the mat. I'm gonna have my left side facing the computer and I'm gonna exhale, come down for just a moment. Oh, so I don't know how your day's been, but let's all take a moment to just breathe and ground here. So you can put your hands on your belly or put your hands anywhere that feels good to you and just take a second to breathe in and scan through your whole body checking in with your toes your feet and your knees the legs just feel where you might be holding tension just do a little check-in send your breaths down low and let that active Breathing just create a little space in our minds. Promote a little relaxation in our body. It's just something we can always do is take a big deep breath. Okay, so let's begin now just taking your arms here to your sides for a moment. And then you're gonna just begin stretching your knees to one side and then letting your knees come up, face the ceiling and then stretch to the other side. So this can be a slow, easy mo movement. Remembering you're gonna push in with your feet. Empujamos por los piecitos in el piso. Good, and then try that just a couple more times. So maybe you're feeling now a little stretch in your hips, a little engagement through the thighs, through the glutes, through the hamstrings. Good. So now let's pause with your kneecaps facing the sky and we'll put our hands on, your, on the pelvis and let's just rock and roll your pubic bone down and up a few times. So this is gonna, this action is gonna scoop the bones of the sacrum off of the floor, set them down gently, and then we're gonna reach our pubic bone out. Good, all the while we're gonna try to pull the belly muscles in as we do this. So stretching all the way up and then curling, pulling in. Let's do that one more time. Good, so now we'll hold these bones down here beneath you nice and steady. You can take your arms anywhere that feels comfortable. And then I'm gonna begin just lifting my left leg and tapping that leg down and up. Subo y bajo. I'm gonna lift and lower. Just my left leg checking in with my hip here. So sometimes after a day of who knows what you had going on today, but the hips can be a little persnickety, little um, talkative. So just taking a moment to wake them up. Let's pause and now open your left leg to the side, keeping the knee bent and then closing. So all the while you're gonna keep your torso stable. Good, as you let the leg open and close. Let's do that one more time, open and close, good. So now this will be a smaller movement, but let the knee cross your midline, feel a stretch through the front of the hip and close right back in. So you're internally rotating pulling back in, internally rotating, just noticing we have a lot less internal rotation than we do external typically. Good, let's pause now and then just lightly circle the left leg around in your hip socket, just getting the hip awake and ready to hold the leg up for a little bit. And then circulamos, you're gonna take that circle in the opposite direction. Good. Let's pause, take the knee bent and place, so bending the knee, take your ankle to the opposite thigh, and then we're gonna lightly rock out the hips, lado y lado, side to side. Just feeling a deep stretch there through each side. 
Beautiful. So now we're going to pause and go ahead, take the stack of legs up for a moment and interlace your fingers around the right leg. So this is now going to stretch the inside, the external rotators of your left hip. Good. Let's go ahead, unfold the two legs and set both feet down gently, feeling your belly connected to that movement. All right, the right leg is going to come down and up. And so just thinking about neutral pelvis, steady torso, sometimes it's helpful to put your hands on your ribs to your hips, so like thumbs to the rib cage, fingertips to the hip bones, just to make sure you're keeping your pelvis and your rib cage pretty stable as you move. So now we're going to pause with this leg up. You're going to open and close. Abrimos, cerramos la pierna derecha. We open and close the right leg. Good. All right. And now we'll switch directions. So now that leg is going to turn in. You might also feel a stretch out on the outside of the leg. Back to the center. In and out. In and out. Also maybe even a stretch around the kneecap. In and out. Adentro, afuera. Good. Let's make circles now with this leg. Good. And now we're going to circle in the opposite direction. Beautiful. So now let's pause and place the ankle, el tobillo, on the thigh, on your muslo. And now we're going to rock back and forth, lado y lado, esterando. Just stretching out your hips a little bit. Good. So there's different ways we can um, promote blood flow and circulation in your joints and in your muscles. And one of them is through these gentle movements, through movement, and then also from held stretches. So it's nice to kind of do a combination of both. Let's now pause with your legs right back over your chest and then place your hands behind your left thigh, and then we'll let the hips just stretch here for a moment. Good. We'll exhale, unfold the two legs, place the feet back down on the floor, do a little check of your neutral pelvis. Good. Holding that steady. Now sweeping your arms up. Take your left arm alongside your body and then change the position with your two arms. So letting the thumbs face down or reach down as the arm comes overhead. And just feeling that range of motion here. Again, our joints, who knows how they're going to feel at the end of maybe a long day. So just taking your time. Remembering you're keeping the rib cage floating in so that you're supported long through the torso. But now let's pause. Let your two arms move out and in, opening and closing. Good. Then we're going to pause with the arms out, take them to a Y shape, and then exhale, pull them into a W shape. So you're going to stretch. Reach out and exhale, pull back, stretch and reach out. Now exhale, pull back, stretch, reach out and exhale, pull back, stretching, reaching out. Take your palms, open and close, almost like the um, action of a jumping jack with your arms overhead. So you'll just feel the muscles in the arms. Waking up, connecting as your palms connect, and then come right back in. Good. Let's now pause, palms together, interlace the fingers, move the hands behind the head. And now we'll inhale, take a big breath. And exhale, lift your head and chest without the tailbone coming up. So you start to feel that firming in your belly. Let's inhale another breath, and then exhale, lower it down. Let's try that much again. So you'll inhale and exhale, lift, 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 seeing your belly muscles firing up to take the weight of your head. Good, lift maybe a little bit higher and then exhale, 
we're going to come right back down. Let's try that again. Inhale. And exhale, lifting up. Good, 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 good. And then from here, once again, maybe get the head a little bit higher, pulling the tailbone navel down. And then we're going to exhale, release, let the head come right back down to the floor. So we'll take your two arms up for a moment. Now your two knees up. So now we're going to let the left leg and right arm lift together and lower together. And we're going to alternate. Try that on the other side. So we come down, two, three. We come up, two, three. We come down, two, three. Up, two, three. Bajando los tres. Subiendo otra vez. Good. Taking that just a few times. Inhale. And exhale to lift. Inhaling to lower. Exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Let's pause on top. Interlace the fingers, move the hands behind the head. On a respiración profunda, so you're going to pull in deep at your belly, lift the head and chest. Now lightly pulse up five, four, three, and two, and one. And now you'll exhale, head comes right back down. And this time you're going to stretch your right arm, left leg out. So this is a good opportunity to really wake up your quadriceps. So the leg doesn't need to come down so low, but really want to feel the leg push out. Good. Try this just a time or two more. Two and one. Let's pause. Float the knees down over the chest, arms to your sides. Let's lower the feet to the floor. Push equally, evenly into the feet. Get a big stretch of the front of your hips. All right, so let that feel that your knees are more or less right over your heels. And the arms are anchored into the floor. We're going to articulate the vertebra of the back, coming right back down. Inhale. And exhale, articulate all those vertebrae as you come up, articulando la vertebra. Good. And now we'll try that all the way on the way down. So really connecting your belly muscles to the lowering. Inhale, really feeling the glutes and hamstrings participate in the lifting. Good. Let's try that last time, slowly lowering all the way back down. Good. So now two knees, two arms over your hips and chest. Again, you're going to lower arms and legs together and right back up. Arms and legs lowering together, right back up. Arms and legs together, back up. Let's pause. Extend the arms to the side, lengthen the knees. Exhale, release. So now you'll extend the arms, lengthen the legs. Exhale, release. Two more, all the way up. Good. Exhale, release. This time we're going to hold arms up in the air, legs in the air. Right arm, left leg move to the side, and then they close. So abrimos, cerramos las piernas y los brazos. Pierna puesto, brazo puesto. Good. Take that just a couple more times. Feeling your center solid, firm. Connected. Beautiful. So now once again from here, interlacing the fingers, moving the hands behind the head. Take a big breath. Exhale. Subiendo la cabeza. Lift the head. And a nice, nice little pulse here. Five, four, three. This is just reconnecting your belly, helping you hold the legs and head up. Now you're going to rotate to the left. And then rotamos a la derecha. You're going to rotate to the right. Here we go. Girando lados. You're just changing sides. Good. Exhaling into that rotation. Exhaling into rotation. Good. Just try that one more time. Cada lado. Very nice. Beautiful. So now you're going to bend the knees, lower your head. Try this for a moment. Circle your two legs at the same time. So they're going to circle out, down, and around. Then circle out, down, around the other way. Good. So now pause, gluing the legs together. Reach your 
um, knees over to the right. And then, a la izquierda. So you're gonna come all the way to the left. Here we go. Empujando los brazos en el piso. So you're pushing your arms into the floor, feeling a firmness up there. Inspirando and then expirando, lifting the legs back up. Inspirando a un lado, expirando otro lado. Try this again. Good. And so now we're gonna lengthen your two legs out and then try that same reaching side to side. Lado y lado. Good. Holding the legs estable, holding the legs stable as you go each side. Good. So now we'll pause in the center. You want to take your toes together. Now your heels together. Now your toes. Now your heels. Toes. Heels. Toes. Heels. Toes. Heels. Dedos. Talones. Dedos del pie. Talones. Good. Hold the heels now together. And then you're going to circle the legs just a couple of times. This can be a really small movement. Let's circle the legs out around the other way. Just a couple of times. Two and one. Now we're going to pause. Take your right leg, cross it over the left, fold at the knees, knees over the chest, hands to your ankles. Manos on los tobillos, and now you're going to just rock your back a little bit, side to side. Good. So now from here, pause with your legs here in your center. I'm going to connect opposite hand and leg. So this is my front leg, and this is going to stretch the outside of my leg as I lift it up. And through my hamstrings, obviously through my calf. Let's exhale, fold, bring that right back down. Good. Taking your two legs back up, change the cross of the legs, hands to your ankles, rocking the back just a little. And then front leg, um, opposite hand to the big toe, stretch and reach the leg out, trying that slowly. Lot of, uh, very stubborn little muscles here through your feet, through your calves, through the hamstring. This is a big stretch. Good. We're going to exhale, bend the knee, and release. Good. So now let's place the left foot on the floor. Take your two hands behind the right thigh. Stretch and reach up. And now exhale. Also lift your head and chest. And you can take your um, gaze to your belly button. And now you're going to really focus on stretching the middle of your hamstring. You're trying to move the tailbone down instead of bulge the abdomen up. Good. Let's exhale, release the head. And perhaps this hamstring will now come a little bit closer to you. Still trying to keep the pelvis even, your sitting bones even. Good. So now from here, open your bottom leg, open that top leg out to the side. And let's get a big stretch through both inner thighs. A little different stretch, but still good stuff. Beautiful. We're going to exhale, bring those legs back in. Try that same thing on the other side. So now interlacing the fingers. Bring your hands behind your left leg. Use a big exhale, pull your belly in, your tailbone down, lift the head, taking your gaze up. Good, we're gonna slowly allow your head to come to the floor. And again, pulling your tailbone towards your heel. Let's now open your left leg to the side and also your bent right leg to the side also. So big stretch for los muslos.
Good. We're going to exhale, bring that back in. Good. So now, once again, stretch your two arms, reach them up. Arms are going to float back down. We're going to do a couple little back bends and then stretch our hamstrings some more. So tuck your elbows into the floor and try to lift your rib cage off of the floor. Hold this for five breaths. So you're actively lifting the rib cage. Got some weight in your elbows, maybe a little weight on the top of the head. Give this a few breaths. And then as you feel ready, releasing, letting that come down. Now we'll take your two arms together, back behind you overhead for a moment. Good. And if you like, take your right hand to your left wrist, and you're going to kind of pull yourself here to the right as your knees float to the left. Good. Let's inhale, bring that up. Left hand to your right wrist. La muñeca. Mano a la muñeca. And then same thing. Your knees are going to go to the right as you kind of pull, pull, pull the torso to the left. Good. Use another exhale, bringing yourself back up. Arms now to your sides. Push equal evenly into two feet. Arms come back behind you. You're going to tuck your shoulder blades, rib cage up, lifting the hips high. And once again, we'll take a few breaths here. Beautiful. Exhale, release. Let that come down. And now you'll float your knees over your chest. We're going to extend your two legs. And then exhale. See about pushing your arms into the floor to lift and take your low back up and your thighs over the face. And really let the hamstrings face the sky. Give this just a few breaths also. Good. Let's slowly, slowly, slowly let those bones return right back down to the floor. We're going to push our feet back into the floor. Perhaps even take your hands to your ankles, manos a tus tobillos, and we're going to lift the pelvis up. Continue to walk your shoulder blades together. Get a big lift in your pelvis to stretch out the front of the hips. Slowly exhale, bring that all the way back down. Last thing, two hands behind your thighs. We're going to take that lift again and then see if you can take your hands here to your legs and just give this a good five to ten breaths. The more you curl your toes under, the deeper stretch you'll get into the hamstring. Okay, so now you can slowly let those bones come right back down. Good. So let's do a little rocking. Starting low on the floor. And then if you'd like, exhale, bringing yourself up. Good. You can try that a few times. Exhaling to lift, feeling your belly connect to that lift. Two more. And exhale, coming up. Last time. And exhaling up. Beautiful. So let's pause for a moment and we're going to turn to face the computer screen. So if you know right now your hips and your low back are tight, 
take a little cushion like so and just sit up on it. And that will just give you a little extra release so that these stretches will just feel a little better. And sometimes you can get a little deeper just by having added an assist. So let's start here for a moment in Dandasana pose. So spread your toes, esteramos los dedos. Good, and sit all the way up, top of the head reaching towards the sky. Ribs pulling down, stretching out through your feet. Good, and now with your, I'm gonna go my left leg, why don't you take your right leg in. We're gonna inhale, stretch, reach your arms up, and then exhale, just fold down. So this is letting your low back get a big stretch. You'll inhale, come up, exhale, feel yourself fold in front of your bent knee, coming forward each time. Good. So now we're gonna pause here in front, take your two arms down, and you can melt your head over and just deeply stretch. Walking your hands out, we'll take this stretch a little bit more um, into the upper back also. You can melt the head. Good, we're gonna exhale, sweep ourselves back up, take the arms overhead. And now this time, fold the elbows, twist away, and now twist towards your bent knee, la rodilla doblada. Good, twisting away, girando, moving toward. Inhaling up, and exhale, moving away. Inhale, and now twisting towards, good. So we're gonna inhale, come all the way up. Now open your arms, twisting away from that top leg, from your bent leg. Good. And then inhale, bringing your two palms back together. You're gonna take the arms back up, twist toward the leg. You can even come forward, make this a little bit deeper stretch in your back. Good, and then we're gonna inhale, take your arms up, down again, feeling Dandasana pose. So once again, getting anchored on your sitting bones. And now you'll bring the opposite knee bent and in. Good, so we're gonna inhale, take your two arms up. We're gonna fold out over your bent leg. Let's inhale, come up. And exhale, folding out over the leg. Inspirando arriba, expirando bajando. Let's do this two more times. Again, feeling your hamstring stretching each time you move forward. Good. So now we're gonna exhale, hold forward, bring your palms to the floor. Walk your hands out if you like. Melt the head if that's nice. Cinco respiraciones, five breaths. Good, another exhale is gonna bring us back up, nice and tall. So now arms back up overhead. Let's twist towards your bent knee, back and away, twisting away from the knee. Inhaling up, inspirando arriba, exhale, cruzando. Inhaling up, exhale, twisting. Good, this next time we twist away from your bent leg, let's hold this stretch for a moment and press the arm into the thigh.
Good. We'll inhale, sweep your two arms back together. Exhale, lift. Take another stretch here. So now you're twisting towards the leg, sliding down. Good. We're going to inhale, return to our center once again. Now let's keep both knees bent for a moment. We'll get used to it. We'll try something else here. So if you're on a little sittable, you can kind of come stretch, hang out forward for a moment, like a little ranita. This is just hopefully providing a little opening to your hips. You can take your weight a hair side to side. Notice that that shifts your stretch to estiramiento. Good, so now I'm gonna go back to my left leg, maybe make this your right leg. You can take your hands to the thigh, to the foot, to the calf, anywhere that feels good, but we're gonna stretch the leg out. So again, another little way to engage your hamstring, a deep stretch, letting your calf release, letting your spine still move tall, So let's exhale and open the leg. So now I'm feeling your head stay reaching towards the sky. Good. Let's exhale, bring the leg back to your center. And then we're going to reach the opposite leg away. A little more stretch in the IT band. Good. And now from here, fold this knee so it comes over your opposite thigh. Arms can reach back as you let your sternum stretch forward. Oh, and again, deep in the external rotators. Couple big breaths. Good. So now the bottom foot can walk across your mat. And you can let the two, so that top knee, sit over your bottom knee. Oh, we're gonna just sit tall here for a moment in this pose. Good, let's exhale and unfold the legs. Now I'm going to my right leg, maybe you'll go to your left, but we'll try that sequence on the other side. So remember, when you lift the leg, doesn't matter how much you straighten the knee, just trying to get the leg lifted while you're in the sitting position. So that's this, the basics here. And then this hand could come to the calf, to the foot. You could put two hands on your feet, pull the upper arm bones back, and get a really big solid stretch through the back of your leg. Good, give this a breath or two more. And now we're gonna open, reach the arm and the leg away from each other. Oh, deep stretch there. This is gonna target inner thigh, outer hamstring. We're gonna inhale, let the leg now come across the midline. Now we're getting a little bit more front of the hip and outer. Beautiful, still feeling your weight as much as you can, sitting up on your sits bones. And then we're gonna exhale, fold this knee over your opposite thigh, sobre el muslo opuesto. And then let your sternum move forward. You should feel that in the back of the leg. Good, let's sit all the way up your bottom foot, you're gonna walk across your mat and then rest your top leg over the bottom leg and sit all the way up. Give this stretch a few big breaths so you can check your alignment as you're here. 
Feeling your ribs stacked one over the other. Chest open, scapula moving down the back. Good, let's exhale and now open your legs and we're gonna move them, start with the knees bent, but just move them kind of as wide as your hips are comfortable with. And again, getting up on those sitting bones as best you can. Let's move the hands behind the head. You're gonna inhale, open up. And then exhale round, coming forward, feeling your belly muscles connect, kicking in. Inhale, coming all the way up. We're gonna do that again. Exhale, round through the front of the ribs, scooping the belly, letting your head come down. Let's inhale, come right back up. Last time, exhale, rounding, coming down. And inhaling up. Good, so now we're gonna reach your ribs side to side. So inhale, stacking up, feeling the top of the head lift, and exhale, coming forward. Inhale, top of the head continues to lift. You exhale, fold over. Inhale, and exhaling over. Good, keeping your armpit chest, so in the arm bones move back in the shoulder socket so you continue to stretch all the way through your armpits, beautiful. Okay, so now you'll inhale, come up, and we're gonna slide down one leg. Oh, and this is gonna deepen the stretch here on the side of my back, coming up, slide down the opposite leg. Inhale, coming up, exhale, sliding down the leg, feeling your chest continue to open. Good, all right, last time. And then let's pause. So lengthen out your left leg and pull your right leg in. Good, and then once again, try to feel your weight. Even on your two sitting bones, let's sweep the arms, circle the arms just a little bit. Good, and then circle the other way. Good, let's sweep the arm of our extended leg underneath us, top arm overhead. Inhale and exhale, reach away. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, reaching away. Good, so each time the torso comes over that extended leg, you should feel a real stretch in the hamstring and also the side of your back. Bueno, so let's pause here Bottom arm is gonna reach out, and then you can exhale, just hold this stretch for dos, tres respiraciones. Well, exhale, come up. Opposite leg pulls out, opposite leg pulls in. Good. Let's take our hands here back behind the head for a moment, and just try a little reaching. Uh, just lado y lado. Almost thinking you're rocking your body, right? So uh, creating, working on our muscles, skeletal alignment, but also creating relaxation just through the quality of our movement. We're gonna exhale, hold, take it tall for a moment. Sweep the arms out, circle the arms. And exhale, circle on the other way. Now the arm of your extended leg is gonna come underneath you, you're gonna reach to the side. Good, reach to the opposite side. Reaching up and out, reaching to the side, opening the chest. Good, let's pause, bent towards the extended leg and then come all the way down. Good, we're gonna exhale, release, and lift. 
Let's uh, now take two legs out and take your two hands forward. Good, so you can walk your fingertips just a little bit further away from you. Again, keeping the firmness, keeping the alertness in your legs. Good, and now we're just gonna grapevine the arms all the way around. Good, I've got my um, left hand over my right. Maybe you got your uh, right over left, but you just wanna feel the opposite if you rotate it to your right. Put the left hand on top. Deep stretch through your back. Now we're going to grapevine the hands around, going in the opposite direction. And then same thing, let that hand land. Beautiful. We're going to exhale and come up. And then from here, bend your knees, bring them in. We'll come off of this sitable. Okay. And move that out to the side. So come on to all fours for a moment. And again, some other good opportunities to kind of work on connectivity, lengthening, strengthening through your hamstrings. So let's try this. Take your forearms to the mat for a moment. Slide the forearms out and we'll let the top of the head melt down as the tailbone continues to lift. So this is just putting a big arch in your back. Good, and now from here, placing your palms underneath you for a moment. Let's go ahead and stretch, reach your right leg back behind you, and then work into your calf by planting the ball of the foot in the floor and then rocking through your ankle. So the weight moves back, the weight moves forward. The weight moves back, it moves forward, back, and forward. So now we're gonna hold the weight moving back opposite knee is going to fold across you and then you're going to exhale and slide all the way down. Right in the back of you get a big stretch. Really the front of you as well. Beautiful. Let's take your two hands here back underneath your shoulders and then exhale, lift your head and chest, your throat, your sternum rise up. This will deepen the stretch in the front of your body. Beautiful. And then let's exhale, push with the hands, lift, move the weight back. And then we'll inhale. Exhale, really fine. Reconnect to that alignment of your spine. I'm gonna move this way just a hand. Inhale and exhale, curling your tailbone under. Inhaling, lengthening, lifting. And exhaling, coming under. Inhale, we're gonna pause, hold for a moment. And now your left leg reaches back. And I want you to, again, hold that foot back, lift the knee joint, rock your weight through the ankle into the ball of your foot and deeply stretch your calf. So a lot of times tightness in the hamstrings can also, you know, be related to tightness in the foot tightness through your gastrocnemius, that big calf muscle. Beautiful, so now we're gonna pause your top knee, you're gonna fold it in, reach the back thigh all the way down, and then bring yourself over. Good, right, so get a big, nice restorative stretch here. The other 
thing that's nice about forward bending, like we're doing right now, is this is a great opportunity to let your um, brain rest. You're, you're taking in less in a forward bend. So just appreciate that for a moment. These can be very restorative little moments for us. Okay, so now we're gonna place both palms underneath your shoulders and then let your head and chest move slightly back. Moviendo atrás, atrás. Good, and then from here, we'll push some weight into our hands through the back foot and bring your knees beneath you. And now slide yourself down into Adho Mukha Virasana Child's Pose. So again, this can be just a moment where you're surrendered and almost just curled up. Getting length in your back. Good, and we're just gonna walk our fingertips now over to the right, a la derecha. And then you can put your left hand on the izquierda encima. Good. Inhale, start bringing your arms over and onto the opposite side. A long stretch through that part of you. we're going to open back up once again and I'm going to slide now bring myself forward onto my belly for just a moment good and from here let your head rest for a second just on your two hands and let the thigh bones rock back and forth good and then same thing curl your tailbone underneath you just a little and feel the engaging of your glutes. Great supporters of your low back here. And then let's bend one knee, feel the kneecap stretch. Good, let's exhale, lengthen the leg. And try that bending on the opposite side. Good. Let's alternate the bends of each leg here. Just checking in with your knees. Now let's hold both knees bent for just a moment. Now press your thighs into the floor as you allow the knees to bend. And now you can take your hands onto the low back. And then once again, we're just going to rock our weight a little side to side. Very nice. So let's now try a hand reaching towards a foot. Doesn't need to be a big movement. As you do this, you can tuck the arm bone up and onto the back. Just feeling that energy through the latissimus. Beautiful. Let's switch. So now opposite, same. So left hand, la mano izquierda. It's reaching towards your left foot. And then same thing, you're gonna pull the arm bone up onto the back. Good, so let's take two hands now to both feet. And just relax here for a moment. Beautiful, we're gonna let your arms come down. Your arm furthest from the computer, let's bring that up alongside the ear and then roll ourselves onto that side. Good, now with your top leg, just begin to lift this leg up. You can rotate the toes out. The 
hand can come anywhere on the leg where you feel supported, or you can reach your hand all the way to the foot. Good, so now your top leg with the knee bend, let it come down. And then you're gonna stretch your top arm behind you, then the elbow and circle just a little bit so you deepen that stretch in your chest. Good, pause with the arm reaching away. We're gonna press now the top arm down, push, squeeze the knees together, and just lift ourselves onto the other side. Coming all the way here to the floor for a moment, then lengthening out and allowing your top leg to rise up. Good, so just feeling now that external rotation as the leg opens hand can move to the femur bone or connect to the big toes. Just enjoy feeling your legs opening up here, reaching for the sky. And now, beautiful, let's bend the knee and bring that foot forward. Oh. And now you can begin to reach your weight back through your torso, circling the arm. And then circling the arm around the other way. And then let's exhale, reach that arm all the way back behind you, letting your chest open, your hips relax. Oh goodness, okay. So now from here, we're just gonna roll all the way onto the belly. Um, when I said belly, I meant back, of course. Um, return, bring your hands back to your abdomen. And just take a few solid breaths. To return to where you are. Let your breaths be full and in and out of your nose. And then after your next exhale, let's just stretch, reach your arms out into a big X position reach out through the fingers and toes and then we'll exhale and hug the limbs in and we'll roll to the right and find ourselves up in a seated position good and we'll bring our palms together Bow the head, close the eyes. Your practice is a gift, everyone. Thank you, enjoy your evening, namaste.
Thank you, Elizabeth.